President Bola Ahmed Tinubu yesterday established a new Ministry of Livestock Development as part of efforts to address the lingering farmers' headers crisis. Nigeria has seen many decades of farmer headers conflict, taking at least 60,000 lives according to Next Year Security, Peace and Sustainable Development. Joining us now is Coordinator, Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG, Jamilu Charanchi. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Charanchi. Thank you for inviting me. All right. Okay. Uh, so what's the reaction like, especially uh, from your quarters? Uh, we did hear that there are mixed feelings from different quarters, but what is it like from your own end? Well, actually, it was just last few weeks ago that we had a bill in the National Assembly seeking that the Mr. President should restrict the movement of cutters from one place to another. There were so many debates during their build that some people, in fact, most of the Nigerians, especially those from the northern part of the country, advised that there should be a ministry that would at least cutter the activities of this harder, so that at least their activities would be regulated, their functions would be regulated, and even the ranching we are talking about, we will have somebody whom we believe that he is to take care of that ranching. So I think what this is a very nice development, uh, and uh, we believe that it is for the interest of Nigerians and for the interest of the uh, of the peace to run in the region, particularly the decade of farmers' hardest plague that we have been experiencing in this country. So our only prayer is that we believe that uh, the ministry is for, uh, is, is, for the, uh, is, is for the goodness of our people. But our only belief is that we pray that uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu will ensure that those people that are going to handle the activities of that ministry are people who are rooted from both sides, that is the Hadas and the Pamas. So at least they know what has been going on for a decade, and I would believe that they can provide a solution to such kind of problem that at least will promote peace in their regions or in their areas. All right. Uh, what would not you say? I mean, some people would argue that there is a ministry, an existing ministry, that maybe should handle this. For example, the Ministry of Agriculture. Shouldn't livestock come under the Ministry of Agriculture? That's one. And uh, I think the second part would be that whilst they are ask why they are asking about this is because we are currently a struggling economy. And when we, we we're not talking about what the financial implications of setting up a new ministry at this time will be. You see, Nigeria, Nigeria, we, 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 Nigeria is not short of either money or, or, or we are having difficulties in the economy. It's only our problem is that we have leaders that don't have the country at their heart. Leaders who believe in looting the treasury. Leaders who believe in enriching themselves. Leaders who prepare their own problem rather than the problem of the masses. I believe that going by the only they, they recently built the house by house by the, for the vice president of this country is enough to cut up with that ministry. We believe that we have seen a report whereby over 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 three billion or over ten billion naira was spent in a week or in ten days just to repair tires and motors in the in the, in the state house. We have seen how the lab the, the, the budgeted the, the the library of the national assembly. We have seen how they budgeted the national library. We have seen how they budgeted the national hospital, and we have seen how they budgeted uh, the allocated money to the uh, to the presidential villa uh, clinic. So our problem is not creating new ministry or whatever it is, but our problem is lack of leaders in this country. You see, all the crises we are facing in this country, be it economic crisis, educational crisis, health crisis, whatever crisis we are facing is a crisis of leadership in this country. We don't have leaders. If we have leaders, we have enough money in this country that we can run whatever we want to run in this country. We have enough money that we will enjoy ourselves. We have enough money that can take care of the economy. We have enough money that at least can cut out the over 200 people, people uh, over 200 people we are talking about in this country. But will our leaders allow themselves not to steal or not to loot our credit? That are the questions. We have seen the, 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 the revelations from the EFCC, from ICPC. We have seen so many revelations. We have seen how the treasury is being squandered anyhow, any ways they like. We have seen a, we have seen a situation whereby this governor spent over almost getting to one trillion in three months. Only for their local and international trips, for their utilities okay. and other things. I get we your have point. seen all these things. So I, I get your point. Now there's a first part to that question, which is why did this not come under the responsibilities of the Ministry of Agriculture? Shouldn't livestock be under agriculture? I think the issue is the same thing with the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs. Why shouldn't the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs come under the Ministry of Petroleum Resources? So you see, we always used to prioritize things. When we realize that there is a problem wherever there is that problem. We used to solve that problem amicably so that at least for the betterment of this country. 
I think it is not a bad idea when we have the Ministry of Livestock. It is the same thing as having the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs and equally having the Ministry of Petroleum. It is the same thing of having the Ministry of Agriculture and equally have another program by Uncle Barros. It is the same thing we have the, uh, the creation of uh, one program under, uh, uh, I think it's General Mamengleto regime that will cut up on the issue of uh, Niger uh, uh, Mineral Resources uh, States. So okay, I think so that it is not a bad idea having the Ministry of Agriculture and having the Ministry of Livestock. And let me tell you something, people who are, who are very familiar with the way how things are, are moving to, today, with the recent technology we are having, or with the recent improvement we are having, agriculture can be differently, we have agriculture can be different from livestock production. Livestock production entirely is something that it is on its own. When we are talking about livestock production, we are talking about so many things. And when you are talking about agriculture, we are talking also about so many things. You see, even if you go to university, you will realize that agriculture is one of the subjects, or, 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 or one of the areas, that has so many components. If you are talking, you are talking about agricultural crop production, you are talking about crop protection, you are talking about soil science, you are talking about uh, GM, you are talking about so many things. When you go to livestock, you will also be talking about so many things. So I think it is not a bad idea in as much as we have people that will have Nigerians at their heart. In as much as we have people that believe that we are here to do the job, not just to enrich themselves. I think it is not a bad idea of having that ministry. They can go concurrently with the Minister of Agriculture, taking care of specializing particularly on crops, seeds and other things, while the livestock will be, will be focusing on the livestock production, be it either the ruminant, non-ruminant animals, uh, mono, uh, small animals, large animals, and all other things. And specifically the essence of this ministry, if, I'm not, if, if, if to my own understanding, is how they are they going to sit down, design a program for this livestock production, Design and improve programs. This ranching we are talking about, the harder farmers class, what are the way forward? Even, even the movement of the cattle should be restricted with, by having these ranches. But if you allow the Ministry of Agriculture, there are so many burdens on that ministry that that ministry cannot even give a special interest on livestock production alone. Because oh. if you give special emphasis on live production alone, also the, agric uh, the crop part also needs a special emphasis. The soil part also needs a special emphasis. In fact, even the agricultural uh, economic extension extension programs, they need also a special, a special attention. So I think it is not a bad idea having the ministry. The only thing is that let's pray that those that will handle the mantle of leadership of that ministry will have Nigerians and Nigeria at their heart. All right, Mr. Mr. Charanchi, um, unfortunately we're out of time. Uh, I really wish we could extend on this conversation. But before you go, very short, very precise. Uh, you're talking about those who would lead. But you do have the former INEC boss, who is now a co-chairman of this newly created ministry. Do you have faith in Atahiru Jega? Well, actually, I can say it 100% that I have faith in him. I believe that Jega can move the ministry forward. But it's not Jega that is the problem. The problem is that who are going to work under Jega? And in such kind of cases, I believe those people from the grassroots, also should be involved. If I can recall vividly, there is one quote from Mahatma Gandhi who said, anything you do for me without me is against me. So those pe people with the primary problems, they should be also part of the ministry. But I have full confidence in Jega, and I believe Nigerians believe in Jega, and we believe that Jega is a technocrat and is somebody, a patriotic citizen who has the country at heart and who can do anything humanly possible to ensure that he promotes the country forward. All right, National Coordinator, Coalition of Northern Groups. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Jamilu uh, Chalanji, for joining us. Uh, we look forward to have this conversation thank more. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm. All right.